this woman, she so impressed me. I thought everything was great in her life. I thought, well, you know, she's cooking away. She's, she, they, they cook food and then send it to other places that needed food, right, during this, this flood. And so one day I, I said to her, how are you doing, Luann? What, what, did you have flooding? And then what did you tell me? We lost everything. All four cars, refrigerators, clothes. This is my Cinderella clothes. <laughs> that, you know, we got from the shelters and stuff like that. But yes, we, we lost everything. You but lost God is everything, and yet you Certainly. were the happiest, smiling, kind woman I've ever met. And I, I couldn't believe, and here I am, excited you're cooking you're helping people and we're showing you our food and you're loving it and 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 yet your house was destroyed i've been in your house i've you know and didn't some famous uh, some of the politicians uh, yes come come to your house recently speaker of the house paul ryan senator ted cruz i mean we just had so many people that it was amazing picking up the trash because we lost everything and, you know, I had a lot of furniture, and it all hit the curb. So it was, I had about 30 feet of just trash. Well, wow. it was my belongings. And um, if you don't have it close 10 feet to the curb, they can't pick it up. What we call the claw, they couldn't pick it up. So it's like, oh, my God, what are we going to do with all this other trash? So by the grace of God... Um, only, only God, only God, um, we were picked out uh, for them to come and do a promo at our house. But I had no idea that all of those government officials were coming that day So, and picking up my trash. You know, you, like I said, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan is picking up my trash and taking it to the front. Oh. <laughs> that was crazy. But, um, again, that is just God. It's just God. But. Yeah. And I was grateful they came because they, they could see that all I had at that point was brick, the studs, and cement. That was it. And, Pastor, I have to say that when we left, when we did our little escape plan, um, in my mind, I thought, oh, wow, in four days I'll be back. Everything will be okay. And that's not how it was. Um, I mean, it's already been three months, and we're still displaced. And I'm grateful to my daughter and, and my son-in-law. That's who we live with right now. And um, it's just been wonderful. And you, the Church of Morningside, I praise God for the Church of Morningside. And you, Pastor, who were so gracious to us. And even here on, on this trip, I have to say, from the moment that we came, nothing but love and here it's called grace street yeah. this is grace grace unmerited favor yeah. and that's all we've experienced while we've been here Lynn, why did you why did you come why did you come here now what i i'm i'm so honored you came because you're out of your house we and, and what people don't know the houses have to be stripped out. There's nothing left in no. the house. The refrigerator's gone. The stove's gone. The chairs are gone. The couches are gone. Your pictures are gone. Everything is gone when the floods come. People yes. think they've laughed at people that get ready for any catastrophe. And yet, nobody laughed at us when we came bringing our buckets oh, to Houston, no. Texas. You were so welcomed. You were so welcome. And then that's what I said. When we were in the shelter... There was nothing in the shelter. Uh, we, they gave us crackers and water, which, we, you know, we were grateful. We sat in wet clothes till about four-ish until somebody, you know, neighbors started coming, bringing clothes and shoes. And again, I, I had no inkling that we would be there that long. And so I only had one change of clothes and only, you know, the shoes that I had on, which were so wet. And um, some grateful soul sent us, you know, socks and shoes. And so we got to change. But, I mean, I had no idea 
pastor. And even, even when we were rebuilding, I had no idea. Because every time I thought, oh, boy, it looks like we're going to get home, then they'd say, no, Miss Lewin, you're not done. You see the damage? See the mold coming in? You still need to do this and this and this. Yeah. Oh, my God. And when I, you know, when we started putting the walls up, again, I'm thinking, oh, boy, I'm getting closer to getting home. Not that they have been marvelous to us. I am so grateful for my daughter and my grandson. They have been awesome, awesome. But, you know, it's like Dorothy where she clicks her heels and says, there's no place like home. That's right. And um, so, okay, we got our walls up, got our electricity going, and then it's like, oh, you still need doors. Interior doors. There is a shortage now of doors because there's so many homes um, that are damaged, people displaced. If you go down my block, it's still, it's still sad because nobody lives there yet. Nobody lives there yet. I'm probably one of the one closest to getting home, <laughs> and that's because of you and the people of PTL. And I just want to say to all you viewers out there who have helped, who've contributed, I cannot thank you enough. I get here and I'm like, Lord, I, the words of thanks are, are just not enough to tell you, your people, all those that contribute, please know that this pastor is doing his very best. Support this pastor in any way possible. And um, like I said, you know, we don't have doors. Um, and I'm just hoping that, you know, even when we get home, maybe my vanity, bathroom vanity will come in. <laughs> I won't have doors, but I thought, okay, we can put shower curtains up um, <laughs> all over the place. But at least I will be home. We have um, one queen-size bed, which I'm excited we can live out of boxes. And I thought, well, you know, hey, we've been living out of boxes for three months. So that's okay. And I told my daughter, uh, somebody donated um, the box spring. I said, I can get you a mattress. <laughs> I said, so, but we can do it. I said, we can do it. Yeah. And, and you've been uh -huh. doing it. Yes. And I've been following it all along. You send me pictures. Uh, our good, good friends, Marianne and Gilbert, they have been helping you. They they love our ministry, and That's we brought an them angel. over to meet you. And and they've been there. They are. They've been on the site with you. She's I know you awesome. needed some big fans, and they got these <laughs> big to dry it out. Do you yes. remember that? Her church brought it in, yeah. and um, they. It's, she, she's so funny. She says, "I told my pastor." My friend Luann needs those fans. She needs to be the first one. And the pastor said, if I didn't do it, I was afraid she wasn't just, she wasn't going to leave me alone. Yeah. So, but, and, and I know that was far. It was an hour's drive to my place. And we want to keep helping you. If you, whenever there's a need, if, you know, our partners and all, and, and I don't want to embarrass you, I don't want to talk, but we sent them a check in the beginning to, to really get things going, and and we we're still here, and I, I there's somebody who has doors, Mondo. I forgot it. Who is it? We know some just, door people. I just called Pastor Larry Green, and we're gonna doors. doors. We have so many doors. We we're door poor. There, this pastor, they got thousands of doors. Every kind of, and, and if your doors, if you can't get doors, we'll get you doors yeah. because we have a door, we have a door collection. Yes,